Okay, so we're back from our commercial break. It's time now to present our eight women's division races for week 12's action. Paul, you know what to do. Thank you, Bennett. Our first race of week 12's women's division play will feature Martha Jackson, Gretchen Simpson, and Rihanna Simon. So what do we have in store for those 24 women's division divas this week? There's only one way to find out. Best of luck to our first three divas, and please start the race! Okay, so Martha, Gretchen, and Rihanna will start on Week 12's Women's Division play for the Charities and Universe who join from their homes. And right now, Martha, Gretchen, and Rihanna are going to shake the palm trees and they're going to bring down that coconut tree fruit. <coughs> and now they're going to eat the fruit. And it looks like Rihanna Simon and Gretchen Simpson are dancing to the beat. That means Martha Jackson is going to have the upper hand on those three divas for the moment, and right now number 6 has control on the lead, and number 6 is quarter master. so it's the number 6 show, as Gretchen Simpson wins the first Beamers of Week 12's Women's Mission Play, and there goes Rihanna Simon, she's gonna be flying towards the water, trying to gain some ground in the only one, as number 7, who will be joining with number 1 over at the water, will, will be awarded with Beamers number 2, and poor number 8 is getting left behind in the competition. So it's number two. One of them should get SBOs to get back in this one for sure. And number two will get that chance. He gets the next game SBS. Right now it is Rihanna Simon who gets back gets the lead from Martha Jackson. Martha and Gretchen are doing their best to catch up with Rihanna Simon in a hurry. As we head back into number two. That's back to back SBS for number two. And we are past the one minute mark. And poor number eight is getting all alone last place behind the pack. But back to number two. That makes it three speed bus in a row for number two for this current streak. Meanwhile, Rihanna Simon has a commanding lead over Gretchen Simpson. Gretchen Simpson better hurry up if she wants to catch up to our leader, Rihanna Simon. Will Rihanna Simon hold on for the victory? We'll find out soon enough. Next BS belongs to number six, and he takes the lead over the five switch out from number two. Poor number one, seven, and poor number eight, meanwhile. And point number one are all getting left behind battling for two life. One of them has to get his beamer so that they can catch up with the other competitors in a hurry. But it's our leader, Rihanna Simon, who's trying to put this one away all way. When the next command is Rihanna's ahead of Martha Jackson and Gretchen Simpson. Rihanna Simon now has a little more comfortable lead ahead of those two divas at the current moment. He's making his way to a small stretch. And here comes Marvin Jackson with next BS, but Rihanna Simon is gone, ladies and gentlemen. Marvin Jackson and Gretchen Simpson will have enough distance to catch up to Rihanna Simon in time. As number 7 takes his second BMAS, Rihanna Simon wins this one by an easy affair. Easy affair, I say, for Rihanna Simon. Looks like Gretchen Simpson is going to come in second place, and Marvin Jackson will have to settle for third. So, tell me what up for Rihanna Simon. That's right. Paul, our number five job by me on Simon. We'll be coming back to present race number two of our women's mission action right after we hear a little bit about this message. And now let's move on to race number two. You got it, Brandon. Race number two will feature Zoe Baywart, Cindy Newton, and Arlene Majesta. Ali made it two wins in a row last week with all his passion and style. Let's see if she can make it three wins in a row this week. Everyone is on the clock and good luck to the next week you have on the quest for victory. Please start the race! Alright, Ali Majesta has won two races in a row heading into this week's race. Not bad for a newcomer for the women's mission this season. Right now, our three divas are going to shake the palm trees to bring down that coconut shaped fruit. <coughs> and now they're going to eat the fruit. And Arlene Majesta is dancing to the beam. Zoe Bay was dancing to the beam. And so is Cindy Newton. All three divas are dancing to the beam. So number one on the silver child will have come in on the lead. But here comes Arlene Majesta. And she is going to make the pass for number one who is going to rest. As the first superstar gets beat, first is. Cindy Newton, who was also going to rest, but she woke up immediately. Now getting a little bit more ground after getting his BS going to rest. And right now, number 7 is going to be heading for the water. 
Valerie Point number two fighting for the life for Wild Witches. As Cindy Newton trying to desperately to get back to lean, opens this one up with back to back PS. And our lean Manchester is going to rest. That means number one will have a little bit of breathing room ahead of the three demons of the Cat one. Cindy Newton and Zoe Bay will want to push about with our lean Manchester for the best position for second place. And there goes Cindy Newton with a fair against against PS trying to gain some ground here, Pokemon. And we are past one minute. As point number two continues to fight for the life all the way in the back of the pack. Our lead Majesta now in the next command PS, trying to make it three wins in a row, and down goes number one for the count. So a big one better hurry up. She's trying her best to catch up with Cindy Newton, number one, and our lead Majesta up in the front. And who will get the next one? It's number two. He finally got some help. But he needs a lot more help than that to stay alive. Meanwhile, Arlene Majesta is doing his best, or doing her best, to defend the lean over number one of the Silver Chow and her two D opponents. We'll soon know who will have the upper hand when they get to home stretch. Next PS belongs to number six, trying to lean over the rest of the four Silver Chow. He is leaning over the rest of the four Silver Chow with fifth place. Number two is not going to probably going to get any speed bars at all. He's quite busy in climbing up the wall. And we'll get the next one. It is number one. Look at the dominating effort by number one. Over the five silver chow. He's done a well done job tonight. And on Lee Majesta is back with making his way towards fish line. And here comes Cindy Newton with an ice beamers. But it's Ali Majesta who's going to hold on for opponents for the victory. Three wins in a row for Ali Majesta tonight. That's right, that's true, yeah, anything can happen more. What a close one! Coming up more as I answer for you, but first, have a look at this. The third race of week 12 is going to have my fan favorite with us. That's right, Kelsey Jensen, who was last season's runner up, will be taking on Tasha Nomar from the Sonic Adventure 2 Battle League and Jackie Simpson, one half of the Simpson sisters, for this race. And right now, there's a look in the lineup as we wait the sound. Everyone is on the clock. It's one of our favorite new Let's Have a Challenge! So with that sound, we are on the way. Kelsey Jensen trying her best to get wins on a board this season so that she can have a chance, another chance to get another championship or at least to come back next fall for 2021. And right now, a couple silver channel are going to rest, and number one is pausing for one. Right now, the three DS are going to eat the food, and there they go. And it looks like Kelsey Jensen decided to go to sleep. Yep, so Jackie Simpson and Tasha Norma will be bowing for the lead up in the front. As the first superstar to get speed bus is number six. Trying to gain some ground on the only one with that speed bus. And look what Tasha and Jackie are heading toward now. They are both taking the water path on the Amethyst portion on the Amethyst course. They're doing neck and neck, trying to gain some ground, trying to get to the finish line first. And it will be the fan favorite Kelsey Jensen, trying to catch up with the ground, who will take control of speed bus number two. Number eight is out the water, trying to catch up with the other silver child. And right now, it looks like number one's not looking happy. Yep, he taunts for more. He's going to need a couple of speed bus to get back in this one. And this is the first of them, trying to battle with number eight for two life in the back. Tasha Normal and Jackie Simpson are neck to neck, heading into the sapphire portion on the air course as we pass the one minute manga this exciting race. Kelsey Jensen doing her best to catch up with the other two divas in a hurry. By right now, it is Tasha Normal going for her second win of her 2020 season for her debut as we head back into number one. And it looks like he's going to catch up to number two because number two is pausing for one. So now, number one will have the right to battle with number two, number seven, and number eight in a four-way battle for survival all the way in the back. Number one's doing a pretty good job trying to keep up with the pace from the silver child in the back. And there goes number one with a third consecutive speed bus. Meanwhile, Tasha Normar and Jackie Simpson are getting tailgated by Kelsey and Jensen. Kelsey and Jensen starting to feel the groove every now and then. They're approaching the top of the wall. And Jackie Simpson is gross. But hold everything. She wakes up immediately with the next command PS. 
And it's still a three-way battle, and that's going to be close one to remember. Let's watch the other shot now. They are climbing up the wall, trying to maintain some ground. And number six is going to rest. And so are a couple other super chow. As number seven wakes up for his nap immediately, he gets the next command. Yes, and look at this. Tasha Nomar still in the lead ahead of Jackie Simpson. Looks like Tasha Nomar is going to celebrate another easy win tonight. Yep. And look at this. Number six. We get his control. We will find some job with his second speedrun as Tasha Nomar beats out Jackie Simpson for the victory. So Tasha Nomar gets her second win of her debut season. What a deal by Tasha Nomar from the Sonic Adventure to Bowie. Tasha, you did very well. Congratulations to you. Let's hope you keep it up in the early run. Lots more fun after this announcement. Stay tuned. And we'll be halfway for the women's major races for week 12 at the women's set race number 4. And race number 4 will feature with CMR, Fanny Dinger, and Carol Donna. And this race will feature the Gorin Chow. Carol made it 2 wins in a row last week. Will she have enough time to make it 3 wins in a row this week? We're about to find out right now. Good luck to these 3 Divas, and please start the race! And Carol Donna is quarterback. That means Vasil Omar and Fang Dingham will have the opening edge. But we'll soon know which one of them will pay off or not in the only one. Right now, Vasina and Fanny are going to shake the palm trees. And they're going to bring down that coconut tree fruit. And now they're going to eat the fruit. And there goes Vasina and Fanny. They're going to be bowing formally up at the front. Carol Donna trying her best to catch up with the two D-Bus out of forcing to go to battle the starter race. And who's going to get the first D-Bus this time around? It's going to be number 7 who gets it of the Golden Chow. We have the Golden Chow because it's more challenging than the Silver Chow we usually do. And here comes Carol Donna trying to make a comeback after forcing him to go to sleep on the starter race. By right now, Fanny Dinger has command of the lead trying to hold on from Carol Donna. As number 8, who will have the lead over the 5 Gordon Chow, will take speed bus number 2 in this race. And poor number 6 is getting left behind from the other Golden Chow. He really needs to catch up my right way. As the next PS win made by number 7, that makes his second speed bus in the race. We're soon approaching the 1 minute mark, and Carol Donna is fighting to get back the lead over Fanny Dinger. She and Fanny are battling for the lead. Trying to maintain some ground. Trying to handle the Gordon Chow with authority. And who will get the next command speed bus? It's number 6, who desperately needs to catch up every now and then. Will we get some more? We'll find out soon enough. And down goes one of the Gordon Chow trying to stay alive in the game. But see them all, better hurry up. Oh, she does not want to be left behind from both Carol Donna and Fanny Dinger. She's doing her best, alright, that's for sure. And number 8 will get number 10. That makes his second speed bus of the race. And poor number 2 is getting left behind along with number 6. The Golden Chow and CMR are climbing out the wall behind Fanny Dingo, who carries this in second place. Here comes the Golden Chow. They're climbing up the top of the stone wall. And it will be CMR who will get the next command because she can forget about going best. But it will be a miracle to catch up to our leader, Carol Dada. We'll see him off, trying her best to stay alive, but will it be enough to make the pass from Carol Donna? Real side, she won't be. Carol Donna is going to get an easy victory. Next BS belongs to number two. Now he really needs help. Yep, Carol Donna has got this race in the bag, folks. Carol Donna makes it three victories in a row. Over with CMR. As we see him more, I guess the next command speed because that makes sense. I guess speed bus the race. Three speed, three victories in a row for Carol Donna. What an incredible streak by the newcomer Carol Donna herself. Isn't that true, Brian? That's right, Carol Donna's doing pretty well in her first season. Will she keep it up? We'll find out next time. Back in a bit, do not go away. Alright, this next race will be dealing with a couple of 0 and 2 record divas. Tell us why. Alright, the next race will feature Julie LaHue, Helen Benjamin, and Sarah Granberry. These two 3D bus were a little struggling to get wins on a board season. One of them has to get a win, so that way 
they can try to reach the 2021 Women's Adventure Monster next season. Let's see which one of them will get to be a winner for once. Good luck to the next three divas on their quest for victory, and let's fuck this place! Alright, so Julie, Helen, and Sarah are looking for the first win of the 2020 season. They surely lost the first two races badly, but one of them will turn things around for this race. Let's find out which one, which exactly will be the fortunate one tonight. Right now, the three deers are chicken parties, and now they're going to eat the food. And Helen Benjamin is dancing to the beat. So Sarah Grandmary and Joy here will be battling for the lead along with number two. They're going to make their way towards the bridge of the camp And it looks like Joy here is going to head for the water. And so is Sarah Grandmary as number two goes to the best. As the first superstar to get speed best is Helen Benjamin. He's making a comeback, trying, he's also heading for the one, the camera one. And right now, number six really needs to help every now and then. Number seven decides to go to sleep, so now he will have to join number six for D life all the way in the back of the pack over at the bridges. And number one, who's also left behind on the competition, also really needs to help, takes speed best number two in this race. Right now, it is Sarah Grimbelli, who has the lead over Julie LaHue. They are making way past for the, for the flags. And all three demons are going to enter the sapphire portion of the Emiquats. We have reached the one minute mark of this place. As the next appearance the movie made by number seven. Who desperately needs to catch up every now and then. Let's see if he'll get some more. Right now Helen Benjamin really needs help and she is going to rest. So now she really needs some help every now and then. Helen Benjamin due to that now will be left behind from Julia Hugh. And she wakes up. Now she has a long way to go if she wants to catch up with Joy here and Sarah Grandmary up in the front. As number six will have the next command SPS. And take a look at poor number one and poor number seven. They are getting left behind the competition. And it looks like by way of saying, yep, number six was pausing for one. So I do believe he is going to get another turn by way of said, yep. And yes, indeed, he did get another turn. His strategy worked. Number six gets back to back spears, and now he's still in the game. And it looks like, yep, Joey will hear score the rest. That means Sarah Grimley will have full control of Lee up in the front. But right now, she's pausing for more, trying to pick up a strategy, trying to defend Lee as she enters the home stretch. And here comes Joey Hill trying to catch up with Sarah Grimley once again with the next command spears. Oh, Helen Benjamin might not have enough support from the fans at home to make a miracle coming up. Looks like she might have to set up for a fair place for this race. But there's always another time for Helen Benjamin. There's always the rest of the season, that's for sure. Next piece belongs to number six. That makes his first piece of the race. Julie will hear making one ice ever stay live, but it's going to be too late. Sarah Grandma holds out Julie will hear for the victory. And that will be followed by Helen Benjamin in fact. So Sarah Grandma gets her first win of a 2020 season. That's why right. hopefully she'll have enough distance to make it back to the 2021 Women's Mission Monster next season. Back in a bit, do not go away! Okay, Paul, let's simple point out race number six now. Race number six will feature Marissa Heaton, Colleen Hartman, and Karen Crosby. And boy, did Karen Crosby show and entertain the fans with a splendid performance from her last two races. That's looking a lot for his next race. We'll see if Karen will have enough talent to make it three wins in a row this evening. Everyone is on the clock, so without further ado, let's have a challenge! Alright, so Karen Crosby has won two consecutive races so far for her debut season. That was good for any newcomer for any, for Iron Division gender. Anyway, Karen Crosby is going to lead the way, and it looks like Marissa Heenan pauses this morning, and... and Colin Hartman was going to rest. So Karen Crosby will have a little bit of game ground in the early run. And there she goes. She is going to have command on the lead over the free D bus. And where will Karen Crosby head towards next? It looks like she is going to be heading for the water. Trying to go for her first straight win of her 2020 debut season. As the first superstar gets beat bus is number 7. Who wakes up from his nap. And now he has gained some ground over the five seven channel. And right now, numbers 1, 2, and 6 are all bowing for D-Life all the way in the back. 
try to gain some ground behind number seven all the way back as number one who will lead, lead over number 26 for D-Life takes b as number two and Karen Crosby doing her best to defend her undefeated record at 2-0 she's already at 2-0 for the season by now she currently leads over Colleen Hartman who currently sits in second place as the next BS we may buy number six who desperately needs to catch up every now and then and we have passed one minute mark and Marissa Heenan and Colleen Hartman are doing their best to catch up with our current leader Karen Crosby they're doing their best to right to stay alive in the game and who will get the next command on the speed bus as they make their way towards Stonewall? It's number one who will get the next command. That makes his second speed bus to the base. And poor number two is not looking so happy. He taunts to the crowd. He is getting left behind in the competition. Number six leaves seems like he's also left behind in the crowd. He also moves near his hub and down he goes from the count. Which one will get a chance to stay on with the next command speed bus? It's going to be number two who gets it. But I think he needs a lot more help than that if he wants to stuck up to his game. Meanwhile, Karen Crosby has to climb up to the top of Stonewall. And Karen Crosby is going to rest. That will give Marissa Heenan and Carly Holman the potential to catch up with Karen Crosby. And Marissa and Carly are going to rest. As Carly Holman wakes up and snaps immediately with the next class we are trying to catch up with our leader, Karen Crosby. And my now numbers 2 and 6 are getting left behind climbing on the Stonewall from the Yellow Silver Channel. As number seven, who can say farewell to the young super child, will have a number two that makes it second speed bus for the race. And Karen Crosby has this race all wrapped up. He is going to get an easy victory tonight. As number seven gets the next speed bus, once again saying goodbye to the young super child. You get time one off for Karen Crosby. As the last speed bus we made by number six. So Karen Crosby has made it three victories in a row. That's right. Karen Crosby will show you the battle lady for this race. Coming up, we got more song action for you. But first, have a look at this. Alright, we got two more races left for the women's division schedule this week. That's right. The first of the remaining races will feature Sasha Gispo, who is our defending women's division champion, Jessica Claymore, and Erica Fellows who had an impressive 2 0 record during her first two races, thanks to her incredible speed she practiced during the summer camp. There's looking a lot we just seen just now, and it's back to an AM course once again, as we wish the next week Demas good luck on a quest for victory. Please start the race! Alright, let's see who's gonna come on my top of this one, and it looks like Erica Fellows decided to go to rest. Trying to figure out her strategy on the only one. Sasha and Jessica are going to make their way towards the palm trees. And they'll be joined by Erica Fellows momentarily. Right on the 3D, we're also going to check the palm trees to bring down that coconut shaped fruit. And now they're going to eat the fruit. And there goes Sasha Gizmo. She is going to have command on the lead. Followed by Jessica Claymore getting the party started in second place. And Erica Fellows is dancing in the beat back of palm trees. And Sasha gets both heading for the water as Erica Fellows wins the only toss. And there she goes. Quickly catching up to Jessica Claymore over at the bridges. And she's doing a mighty fine job, all right. Take a look at the silver child in the back. One of these silver child heading for the water. And another silver child is going to mess. As Erica Fellows quickly make catching up to our leader, Sasha gets both up in the front. Opens this one up with back to back speeders. Sasha Gizmo has to leave for now, but but Erica Fellows should be on her way very shortly. As the next PS we may buy, number two, who is trying to lead number six and eight in the dust. Erica Fellows currently takes the second place, but in a moment or two, she is going to depart for Jessica Claymore and catch up to our leader, Sasha Gizmo. We are at the one minute mark in the space, as number six will have the next command speed bus. And right now, Jessica Claymore is getting left behind from Erica Fellows' incredible speed. She is currently stranded in fair place as she makes her way towards the sapphire portion of the of course. Oh well, if she doesn't win this week, there's always the rest of the season for Jessica Claymore. And number seven will get the next command speed us, trying to gain some ground over at the back. 
porn that my ain't meanwhile is getting left behind in the competition. I do believe he's going to need a couple of speed laps if he wants to get back in this one. But back to number seven. That's back to back speed laps for number seven. Co is sitting in fifth place. Meanwhile, Erica Fellows is getting back the lead from Sasha Gets Ball. Can Erica Fellows prevent Sasha Gets Ball from making the pass? We'll find out soon enough. Back to number seven. He was passing for more, but now he gets a third and second in speed bus. Oh well, it will be a meal go for Jessica Claymore to make it all the way to first place. Oh well, that's always next time for Jessica Claymore. And who got the next one? It's number one, who leads over the fourth by Super John in fourth place. And it looks like Erica Fells has this race all wrapped up, ladies and gentlemen. As number seven gets a four speed bus, so I'll get you a good spot. We'll have enough this is to catch up to Erica Fells in time. Elga Fells beats off Sasha Gizmo for the win. After forcing them to go to rest early on in the race, she beats off the defending champion Sasha Gizmo to improve the 3 0 in her cinema season. Well done. As number seven, number 8 will close out the speed runs for the race. Yeah, number 8. And he leads numbers 2 and 6 in the nuts. And Elga Fells is still undefeated. That's right, she has 3 victories in a row. What's going to happen in race number 8 to close out week 12? We'll find out the answer after we present a word from this. Okay, Paul, this is the last race for week 12 schedule here in the Chow Racing Virtual Stadium. That's right. To complete the schedule for week 12 women's division action, we have Maria Schneider, Rona Hartman, and Benny Gilmore. That is what we have for race number 8. As we conclude our schedule for week 12's exciting Chow Racing action. And here we go. Good luck to the final three divas competing one last time this week. Everyone is on a clock, and let's rock this place! <clears throat> so, who will be the final victor of Week 12's exciting women's division play? Will it be Maria, Rona, or Betty, who's going to get a chance to become a winner? We'll find out soon enough. Right now, the three divas remaining in our schedule are going to shake the palm trees to bring down that coconut shape fruit. And now they're going to eat the fruit. <clears throat> and there goes Betty Gable and Maria Schneider. These two child were bowing for the lead up in the front. Maria and Betty are making way towards the bridges. And it looks like Betty Gable is going to be heading for the water. As the first superstar to get speed bus is number two. And he's going to pass one of the same child who's going to mess. And right now number seven is going to be heading for the water. And number one just went to rest. And now he taunts one of So now he is way behind in the competition. He's getting all alone in last place. Trying to stay alive. And here he comes. He's going to get speed bus number two in this race. But I think he needs a lot more help than that to stay in the game. Right now, Benny Gamble up in the front is going to sleep. So that means Maria Schneider and Mona Hartman will have the privilege to catch up with Benny Gamble in a hurry. Now these three new are passing the flags. And once they get there... They're going to reach the sound file portion on the game, of course, as number 7 will have the next command for us, and we have passed the 1 minute mark. And right now, number 1 is still way behind in the competition, behind the other silver chap. Let's find out who we're getting the next command for us, and that next PS we made by number 2. That makes his second speed bus in the base. And right now, Betty Gamble trying her best to defend the lead, trying to go for her second win off her 2020 debut season, she lost last week's place, but maybe a short turn around this week. And number six, can forget about going to rest. He is going to lean over the five to make challenge for place with the next command speed bus. Poor number one, meanwhile, still really needs some speed bus. He is going to need a couple more if he wants to get back in this one for sure this time. And this is one of them, making his second speed bus to the base. Meanwhile, Betty Gable back in front is still has a countable lead because Maria Schneider and Mohammed are both going to rest. So Betty Gamble will have a little bit of breathing room ahead of these two superstars. As number two, we'll get a number turn that makes his first speed bus to the base. And Betty Gamble has no opponents to worry about. She is going to get her second win of her 2020 debut season tonight. Yep, neither of her opponents are going to catch up and help me. As number six gets his next command speed bus, Betty Gabo completes the list of winners for Week 12's Jow Racing 2020 action. A dominating performance by Betty Gabo at the home stretch. Good job by Betty Gabo. She improves to 2 and 1. As number 1, we'll get his first B-Bus, 
but he would have no hope for surviving whatsoever. Maria Schneider came in second, and more Hartman will wrap up the race in third place. So, Betty Gee, when we first last week's loss, that's fine. She's back on track towards coming to a playoff bid. We'll hopefully come back next season. And we're going to come back to wrap it all up after the break. Do not go anywhere. So, Paul, we are done with week 12 schedule for this week. How do you like our show today? Well, tonight was simply a great time for the Charlie Superstars. Everyone's a winner no matter what we saw they end up with. Everyone is a winner indeed. Alright, so we'll be back next week to present some more individual men's and women's division action. Until then, this is Ben Shang signing off. Keep on smiling and look forward to an exciting Halloween action. So long, everybody! Shot Racing 2020 has been brought to you tonight by Wawa Food Markets and Lowe's Department Stores. This is Paul Sagamore signing off. Join us again for more exciting action here on Shot Racing 2020. See you next week. If you have enjoyed this presentation of Channel Asia 2020, why don't you and your friends check out some of our other content here on the Channel Apple channel. These playlists will show you focus on many of the great Channel Racing shows, mascot costume suggestions, and a whole lot more. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can catch up on all the notifications we have on the Channel Apple channel. We'll see you next time for another exciting edition of Channel Racing 2020, right here on the Channel Apple channel.